Some local high school students are raising awareness about suicide. This weekend, students from Forest Park High School in Woodbridge are hosting a walk as part of a national student effort to end suicide. Uh, joining us now are some of the students involved. Uh, to my, to, to your, let's see, your left, right here, Carly Helfer. This is Hannah Kolkmeyer, Brandon Leitonen, and Eliza Bunn. Did I get everybody's name right? Yes. Excellent. They're all nervous. That they're, 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 I'm going to make them all talk. So, but I picked Hannah out instead. Hannah's going to be the one. Hannah, tell us how you got involved in this. Well, back in March, my teacher gave us the uh, kind of like um, it's an alternative assignment that we can do a final project instead of a final exam. And in past years, the seniors have done get green, get heard. And we were allowed to pick our own project. And we created the suicide awareness walk after specifically my cousin had died of suicide. Um, and in that week of just like mourning for his death, I just thought of like, why don't we just make something about suicide awareness? There's such a huge problem about it. It's really common, like Hilton, one of the schools we're coordinating with, Hilton had a suicide at their school. And I presented it to my classmates here and they just fell in love with it. And now it's turned into more than just a project. It's like, this is what we want to do. This is what we're committed about. This is what we're excited about, I guess. Yeah. So you've really had, again, a, a personal, uh, yeah. this has hit home for you. Uh, I know suicide is the fourth leading cause in the U.S. among mm -hmm. adults, 18 to, to 65, second among teens and, and young adults. Um, how did, did you know, death was always a difficult thing to, to process, but how did the suicide, how did that affect you and, and, then, uh, and, and get you to kind of move to, in this direction? Well, I don't know, man. I just like... When my mom had told me about it, I had come home from a lacrosse game, and obviously, like, I was devastated, and I went to lacrosse practice the next day, and I was just, like, thinking about, you know, what could I have done? Was there anything I could have been done personally, mm -hmm. spe uh, specifically because I've been part of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention for the past couple years, mm -hmm. and I just know that there's always ways to help, there's always ways to do things. So I was, like, thinking about what I could have done differently if there was, like, any help that we could have given, mm -hmm. and... When Ms. Garrity gave us this project, I was just like, why don't we just yeah. make a walk about it? And there it is. And so you're going to walk from Forest Park High School, your high school, to Hilton High School, about three yes. miles, walk there and back, Yes. Saturday at 9 a.m. Yes. Um, now, can anyone participate or just the high school students? Anyone can participate. We have uh, officials like Congressman Con Connolly mm -hmm. and uh, the mayor and Dumfries are coming and there's other like the school board members and of course all my classmates are coming. Um, and then we have a bunch of like our community people coming, like one organization called Hands for Hope, which is a church-run suicide mm -hmm. uh, group that helps with people who are dealing with suicide are coming too. Okay. Now I want to show the shirts as well. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got about 15 seconds. Some of the shirts that, and uh, you guys have these shirts made for the event? Yes. Okay. Do you just say you're not alone because we just want everyone to know that they're not alone in suicide and that we're there to help them. And this is what this is about, us being there, helping you and bring awareness to it. So. Yeah. And again, it's okay. Nash, it's a nationwide event, right? So yeah, more than 38,000 suicide deaths every year. So certainly, again, a, a great cause. And uh, congratulations to all of you, and congratulations as well to your upcoming high school graduation. And uh, good luck on Saturday morning. Thank you. Thank you. So, aren't the three of you happy that she? Now you should take her out to breakfast because she did the talking for it. <laughs>